Hello everyone and welcome back to the second part of our videos Full English Grammar in Use. I'm Jasmine and today we're going to learn about present continuous. In the last video we talked about simple present. If you haven't watched, this is the video. In this video you will learn what present continuous is, when and how it is used. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss the lesson that is upcoming. Again, let's start with when present continuous is used. Present continuous is used in one of these five situations. An action that is happening right now. What is happening right now? Right now, at the moment, I'm teaching you present continuous. You are listening to me. You are watching this video. Situation number two things that are happening around now, in this area, somewhere in between present and the future, and are temporary. So for example, I am working on my project. It's something between now and the future, it's happening around now, and it will finish. My friends are moving out and we are helping them. He is working in a restaurant, so he doesn't work there all the time. It's a temporary situation. Trends are also great examples because they are temporary and they are changing constantly. So, for example, the prices are increasing. Situation number three, when we want to describe a picture. So, for example, look at this picture. They are walking, they are probably talking, the left one is wearing a pink shirt. The right one is wearing an orange shirt. They are holding white and purple bags. Okay, wait, I'm hearing some noises. What are they doing up there? Oh, right, they are running. These kids are always running and they're always shouting. They are constantly arguing. That's right, complaining or when we want to talk about negative actions that are repeated. And situation number five, when we want to talk about the future. So this is a little bit advanced. When we want to talk about arrangements that have been organized, we know the time, we know the date, and we know the details. So for example, I'm flying to Spain next month. I know the exact time when I'm flying. So if we remove that next month, it seems as if I am flying now. He's coming from London next week and he's staying with us for two days. I know the exact time he's coming and I know what he's about to do. He is staying with us for two days. That's detailed and that has a time. Okay, so let's talk about the structure and how it is used. Again, we have affirmative, negative and question form. For affirmative sentences, we've got subject plus to be verb plus main verb plus ing. And of course, the to be verb has its own forms. Am, is, are. I am going. You are going. We or they are going. He is going. She and it is going. For the negative form, all we add is a not after the to be verb and before the main verb. So we have, I am not coming. You, we, they are not coming. He, she, it is not coming. Just like in simple present, we can use the short form or the contraction in both negative and affirmative sentences. So, I'm eating. We're eating, you're eating, they're eating, his eating, she's eating, it's eating. And for the negative form, I'm not sleeping, we're not sleeping, or we aren't sleeping. You're not sleeping, or you aren't sleeping. They not, or they aren't sleeping. He's not sleeping, or he isn't sleeping. She's not sleeping, she isn't sleeping. 
And for the question form, again, we have yes or no questions, WH questions. For the yes or no question, we do not add anything. We just bring that to be verb at the beginning of the sentence. So we have, am I dreaming? Are you listening? Is he playing? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you aren't. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. And a quick note, we do not use contraction for the yes answers. We only use it for the no answers. So we have, yes, I am. We do not say, yes, I'm. No, I'm not. That's correct. And for the WH question, we just add a WH question word before the yes or no question. So we can say, what am I doing here? When are we leaving? Where is she going? Now let's get to extra points you need to know. We've got some verbs that describe feelings or states and we can't use them in the continuous form. They are called stative verbs. So for example, we do not say, I am knowing them because know is a stative verb. So we say, I know her. We use the simple present form. He is liking her. No, that's not correct. He likes her. We are believing in miracles. We believe in miracles. The same goes for negative and question forms. So for example, I am not wanting that food. I don't want that food. You aren't understanding. You don't understand. Is he hating apples? Does he hate apples? The spelling of some verbs change when we add ing to it. So, we've got verbs that end in e. We drop the e and we add ing. Dance, dancing, write, writing, give, giving. But we don't do that for verbs that end in double e, like see, seeing. We do not drop the e. Free freeing. Verbs that end in IE. We drop that IE and we add VI. So for example, die, dying, lie, lying. And when we have one syllable words that end in consonant plus vowel plus consonant. CVC. We double the last letter. So for example, run, running, set, setting, sit, sitting. We add another T. Again, let me tell you something else. Be careful with the verbs that end in W sounding O, flow, blow, show. The letter W is a consonant letter, but it has a sound, so it's considered a vowel in these words. So we do not add a double W. So that was today's lesson. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like to learn more, hit the subscribe button. If you have any other things to say, leave us a comment. We love to read your comments. Follow our Instagram pages, rojas.iles, rojas.english. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask us on Instagram. Thank you so much. See you later. Why can't I say it? So for example, I'm flying to ex So for example, I'm flying to ex